how to create a free website using GitHub pages. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use GitHub to create yourself a website. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So in this video, we're going to be creating a portfolio type of website for GitHub, right? We're going to use GitHub pages to create a portfolio. So let's get into it. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to log in or sign up onto GitHub. It's very easy. And once you do that, they're going to ask you to create a new repository. You just simply click on the repositories button and here just simply click on new and you can create a new repository. Now over here, what I would recommend is you, you know, creating a repository with your username. So over here, as you can see, that's my username. So I would just simply put my username as a repository. So you could do that, but I would recommend you, you can type in whatever name you want. But once you've done that, then just type in dot GitHub dot io and that will be your repository so as you can see it's available you can add a description if you want to we're going to leave it at public and then we're going to add a readme file because it is very important and we're going to have to add a bunch of stuff into it so then just simply click on create repository and boom it is now created and as you can see the readme file is over here and if we go ahead and check it out right you can see it's nothing in there and if we just simply click on it like open up our website. Like if I were to just simply type my website over here, you would see that there is nothing in it. As you can see, there's nothing, all right? There is no pages in here. So we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. We're gonna add some pages, we're gonna fix that. So let's go back to our repository here. Now, next, what you wanna do is you wanna add a new file. We're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it the config file. We're gonna call it config dot yml this is going to be a main file here you're going to make you know changes you're going to add themes and stuff like that so we're going to go ahead and click on commit changes and save that file so now that our files are safe that is very important that you need to do is you need to go to settings and underneath pages make sure that underneath branches it's set to main and not non uh, if it's set to non you can change it to main and click on save uh, that's because all the files are going to be root so you know so that uh, when you go into actions and all of your pages are going to be built. So as you can see, it's building right now. And once it's built, we can go ahead and deploy it later on. But for now, we'll leave it at that and we'll go back and start, uh, you know, adding stuff into our portfolio. Now to add different themes, uh, you can find different themes over here, like uh, the minima, like jackals. These are essentially themes like jackals these are essential themes that are supported by github pages so as you can see right here there are different themes so we're going to go ahead and add these themes as well uh, if you want to view them just simply click on the theme and you can view them but yeah let's go ahead and add them this is the preview this is how it would look like so let's go ahead and add the theme so as you can see we already added this right to add the theme this is why was needed because this file is going to tell uh, github to look for the theme in here right so let's go ahead and edit this out click on the pen button to edit it out now here we are going to add all of our important stuff so i've already written them down over here no i did not write them down so here is the important stuff that you need to add over here this is very important here. This will allow the GitHub to go ahead and install this theme, right? So as you can see, we have title, logo, uh, description, and we are going to go ahead and copy this and paste it. You can type it as well. It depends on you. Now, title, you can go ahead and add your name over here. And I'm just simply going to write my username. And over here, we can add logo, but I'll show you how you can add logo later on. For now, we'll leave it at that. And then over here, you want to add description here you can add your but you can say description like for example i'm a video editor so i'll just say video editor and i'm also a content creator so we can do with that and then down below we'll just add a theme and we'll put these columns and then we'll add the jekyll theme main so make sure you type this as it is and don't deviate from it then all we have to do is click on commit changes and we'll go back and say the name of this right here boom it's done let's go ahead and check it out now if we go into action you can see our page is being built so we'll leave it at that and i'll pause this video and wait until it's done and resume all right so it is now done let's go ahead and deploy it and over here we'll click over here to view it so as you can see this is how it looks like we have our name our description and our github profile 
and we can also add our picture here as well so we'll do that in a little bit let's close this up and go back to our repository next let's go ahead and add more stuff or more content into our website so we're going to click on read me and we're going to click on edit this file and here what we want to do is you can see our name of the website we'll leave it at that and next i want to mention that these hashtags represent heading so two hashtags mean heading number two three means heading number three four means heading number four right so keep that in mind now i've already written down all the things that we are going to write so you can see uh, you basically write your project your project one the description of the project and then you add the links of to it uh, project two then description and links then you add some uh you know education your work history and stuff like that you can basically add whatever you want make sure that you use the percentage option over here as a heading so yeah we'll just simply copy this and we'll paste it over here like so so very simple we'll now go ahead and click on commit changes click on commit changes right here there we go so now as you can see we have a few more you know stuff into it so if you go into action let's go ahead and deploy it all right so now that's done we'll open it up all right there we go we'll open up our website and here you can see we have all the stuff that we added so we have our projects uh we have our description links description links and yeah it works so and you can add whatever you want in the description and links as well now i'll show you how you can add a logo and add some different links as well so let's go ahead and do that so to do that uh, you have to add a third file so we'll click on add file click on create new file and here we want to add a docs forward slash you can see it created another folder we'll leave it at that and then assets and then a css and that is it then you just simply go ahead and click on commit changes create css there you go creating that file now here uh, we'll click on add file and we'll click on upload file and here you can choose your image your header whatever it is that you want right so here i'll just upload a image of a cat just you know why not and then click on commit changes as you can see it's processing the file and we are good to go next what you want to do is you want to click on the docs and asset click on the image and click on these three buttons right here copy the path like so then what you want to do is you want to go into the readme file actually go into the config file and click on the edit this file button and here we'll get rid of this hashtag logo add the column and then we'll add the path which is this one and then we'll click on commit changes there you go and there we have it now we're going to go into actions wait for it to you know build so let's go ahead and view it another way that you can view your website by not going here uh, just simply go into uh, depositories and just opening it up right here underneath deployments and opening it up right here so as you can see right here let's go ahead and reload it there you go so now you have yourself an image and let's go ahead and add a few links as well so to add a link uh, what you can do is over here you'll just type in this square bracket and here you want to type in whatever it is that your project is working whether it's a youtube video fiber upwork whatever it is that you want just simply type in that project close it off then add a parentheses make a simple bracket and then here type in the actual link of your project so for example let's say and we'll just simply paste the link and then close off the parentheses right here now that that's done let's go ahead and click on commit changes and that should be it so as you can see now upwork that is why we needed to add the square brackets because that link is going to be intertwined with that word and whenever someone clicks on this upwork button it will be taken over to my profile so you can add your links like that you can add youtube links fiber links uh, whatever the links you want you can even add your own github links as well and very simple after that you can just fill out this form you know change up the images change up the headlines and you are good to go and you will have a portfolio website with github so very simple this is how you do it this is how you create a website using github pages so thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye